Hello, in this video I'll be explaining how to carry out calculations around the Young double slit experiment. In the top image here we can see the pattern formed when a red laser beam is shone through a single slit. As you can see the slit is narrow enough, much less than one millimetre, that diffraction can occur and you can see a diffraction pattern here appears on the screen. However, if you put the light through two very narrow slits that are perhaps a millimetre apart, you'll form a much more complex pattern here with regions of bright and dark, bright and dark. We call these fringes. These fringes are formed because of the interference of light from two coherent sources. You can see here light from one slit and from the other slit. This is hugely zoomed in because as I said previously, this gap here would be only around one millimeter. And you can see the waves interfering with each other as they overlap. At a point like this, we get a bright fringe because the two waves have interfered constructively. At a point like this, we get a dark fringe because the two waves have interfered destructively. For more information on this, watch my video about wave interference. By measuring the separation of these fringes and knowing how the equipment was set up, it's possible for us to calculate the wavelength of this light. This is done using the equation lambda equals a x divided by d. A lambda here is our wavelength. A is the separation of the slits, that is how far we have between the two slits. It's usually in the order of around one millimeter. X refers to the separation between the fringes on the screen. So that is, for example, the distance from this point here to this point here. It's quite a small measurement so the way this would normally be measured is to measure from one fringe to another fringe much further away and then to divide by the number of fringes to get a more precise estimate of the fringe separation. Finally D refers to the distance between the slits and the screen on which the interference pattern has been formed. That's usually around about one metre. The uh, slit separation would normally be around one millimetre. So let's calculate an example. So we've measured the separation of 10 fringes. So from there to around here. So that would be 10x, 10 times the separation between two fringes, we've measured that to be 1.5 centimetres. Additionally, we know that our slit separation happens to be exactly 1 millimetre, and the distance from our screen to our slits is 2.4 metres. So first step here, let's work out what our individual fringe separation is. So this will be x equals 1.5 divided by 10, so 0 0.15 centimetres. Now we need to be really careful with all of our units here. So let's plug these into an equation. Lambda equals 1 times 10 to the minus 3, because that's millimetres, multiplied by... 0 0.15 times 10 to the minus 2, because that one is centimetres, divided by 2.4 metres. We don't need to do anything with that one, which gives us an answer of 6.25 times 10 to the minus 7 metres, which is equal to 625 nanometers.